you know, figure out what the flip camera is doing and how that will change uh, the way things are. Uh, if you anticipate, much, or, and they also anticipate much greater levels of integration transparency with customers in the next five years. So they are leading edge. They say, we'll have new channels, we'll have to be more open. So that's a bit of a background. CIOs want it, CIOs can provide it, and leading edge CIOs understand the business needs. Now, um, what I want to highlight is a few things from uh, research that we just published three weeks ago. And um, um, we went to some 289 executives and asked, how are you dealing with this new generation and this new interactivity and things like that? We found a number of things. We call it smart work. It's the way new organizations work. And there are three characteristics. One, those organizations are much more collaborative. They foster collaboration, not only within the company, but also across companies. Second, they're much more connected, so people are always on, so to speak. And third, they're very dynamic. They can change their business model. They will outsource something or insource something. They will share service things from other companies as well and things like that. Now, what we did is we asked the respondents whether they were, and we just checked that, whether they were outperforming their industry again. And I'll show you some of the key results, and I'll come up in about 10 minutes, five minutes, with the key things, the so what's, you know, that we think CEOs and CIOs should work together on to move forward in this, uh, you know, digital native uh, atmosphere. First, in being dynamic, the green bars here represent the outperforming organizations. The blue bar, uh, which is about 20% of all the respondents, the blue bars represent the rest of all the organizations. And what you see in being dynamic, in being you know, able to change, in you know, adapting your business model, in integrating something or putting something out the door, so to speak, um, those top performing organizations had an easier time identifying individuals that were needed at some point in time. They had a better address book, so to speak. Um, I know how we do that. We have 400,000 employees. You can imagine, it's almost impossible to find the right expertise. So we have what is called blue pages in which there's a complete profile. You have to you know, put data in yourself. It's managed by people themselves. But if you do that well, which most people do, it's kind of a big advertising billboard for who you are and where your expertise is. And people will quickly find you with you know, appropriate tools and go to your expertise. Second thing is that they displayed and delivered information to meet the need of various audiences. So they have much more tailored information services so that you know, relevant things come up for the various audiences in their organizations. And they quickly build skills to address changing conditions. So they have people more change ready. In our CEO study of 2008, the biggest cry for help for CEOs, and I can tell you in two weeks time you see that repeated again in a different way, CEOs are much more frustrated about the changeability of their organization than CIOs, CFOs, and CHROs. CEOs are really sitting on top of their organization say, you know, it's not working. And CIOs and CFOs and CHROs say, well, you know, it isn't that bad. You know, CEOs are deeply, deeply frustrated and concerned about the amount of change the organization can handle. So when and where, wherever you are in the organization, when and where you can help make an organization more flexible, more change ready, that's going to give you bonus points. That is regarded the most important thing in the eyes of CEOs these days. Being collaborative, I don't want to point out all of these things. Let me point the number three and four factor here. Um, have users rate and comment on business information. Um, some people in our interviews, CIOs in particular, said this is not about information, it's about misinformation. You know, filtering out the bad things. So have a system in place where users say, that is what I like. Figure out what they're actually using, close down all the other systems. You provide way too much information, some things are not re uh, relevant or reliable, and so by figuring out what really works, you'll be, you know, much better, uh, you know, spending your money much better. The last factor that you see here is embed collaborative capabilities within processes. So make it easy for people to work together. Um, uh, shareware um, in IBM, we have a system called uh, Same Time, where it actually would say, well, you can email somebody, but this is live. And I think probably 50 or 60% of information flows through Same Time. It's, you see whether somebody's on. If he or she is not on, you go to somebody else. Uh, when we do conference calls, I think 80% of IBMers are having same-time conversations at the same time as a conference call is taking place. You know, 
taking positions, making side comments, uh, sharing files, uh, you know, finding, you know, candidates to, okay, well, we should, you know, say yes to this or say no to that and things like that. Collaboration, crucial for this digital native uh, generation. And thirdly, be connected. Make use of the information. Again, the outperformers do all of this much more. Now, I'd like to end with some practical things because, you know, this is what you see in behavioral traits, but what do you see in terms of things happening? And here you have, uh, you know, two by two. I have three of these two by twos. And uh, one is about people, one is about process, one is about technology. Let me explain the graph. At this side is how important it is in the view of the respondents, which by the way were not CIOs, but were business people. So CEOs, business unit managers, uh, people with a general management uh, title. And we did the research, by the way, together with the Economist Intelligence Unit. So this is how important business people find a certain aspect, and this is how far they are, whether they're good in it or not. And what you'll find is if it's not important and they're not very good at it, it's not a problem, it's below the radar, and that's where it should stay, not relevant. If it's, you know, not that important, but you're good at it, you can leave it at this. You know, that's what we call the safety net. Fine, good that it's there. It's not that important, but good to know that it's there. Um, the most interesting thing, of course, are at the right-hand side of the graph, which we call, you know, where the importance is high. And if the importance is high and you're good, we call it the ideal zone, fine, you know, fantastic. It's important and you're good. But where you want to stick your money, where you want to invest your time, where you want to focus on are the areas which are important, but where you're not so good. In people, that is in building skills, you know, making sure people have easy access. For instance, IBM, we've almost completely stopped face-to-face -face learning. Only for certain management tasks or at certain promotion levels, we get people physically together in a room. It's very costly, takes a lot of time, but for all other tasks, it's digital learning throughout, which includes you know, kind of classroom videotaping, very professionally done. But people can get access to that training the moment they need it. Uh, you know, otherwise you train it and you know, maybe you use it a year later and then you've forgotten it. So it's real-time learning, high quality, and you know, for everybody in the company, everybody can have access to the I, I literally millions of hours of training that are available in IBM. We made the transformation five years ago, and by now our learning is completely digitized, which makes it possible to reskill people much more quickly, and, and that's the mindset as well. Second point is collaborate outside traditional boundaries. Make it possible for people to work together. You cannot predict who needs who for what, when, where. Make it easy, make it transparent. If you don't have that digital address book one way or the other, make sure it's there, make sure people maintain it themselves, make sure they see it as their private billboard to advertise their skills and capabilities. Information related components. Here, the business people think we're not so bad. The important two things, are getting ahead. Integrated data sources, we're getting better at there. Um, and second, used, you know, uh, using information for real-time decision making. So uh, information getting more reliable. Um, let me quote one funny example. You've all, you're all aware of you know, the one day close or something like that. Like at the end of the quarter, particularly listed companies, you want to close the books maybe one day after the quarter or two days or maximum three days after the quarter. Then you do your financial things with the accountant so that maybe two weeks after the close of the quarter, you can announce your financial you know, audited results, stock market ready. Um, my most extreme example is, they call it you know, um, close plus one, which is close plus one day. Um, the most extreme company I've seen is an Italian company that occupies close minus two. Uh, so before they've closed the month, they have to make an estimate of what's going to happen. Uh, it's in a pension business. Uh, now, pension, you know, things and insurance actually also, that doesn't change too much. It's generally. So in generally, you know, they have close minus two so that they can announce. They know the business results before the quarter is ended. You know, very funny. Audited even as well. So that's where we're going. And then third, process-related components. Two areas of improvement. Uh, process enabled by collaboration again. You know, that collaboration factor, that transparency, that working together, that, that is very, very crucial. We find that over and over again. Again, make it possible for people to connect. Have those, not only email, but those instant messaging tools available. Have, you know, the, the visibility for everybody to know everybody, to contact everybody. Uh, it's kind of Facebook, but then within your organization. And then automatically reconfigured processes. 
That's a very difficult term, uh, but just imagine that uh, you are going to outsource a part of your supply chain or you're going to insource part of your supply chain. You want to be able to manage that 